Welcome to Big Burner Podcast. My name is Dana Ohana, and this is the place where you're going to learn how to become a big brander. And just to simplify for you guys, social media, brand building, and help you actually make an easy journey for you as entrepreneur when you're trying to build a business and through that, of course, increase your business, generate leads, and everything around that. So today I want to speak about visibility. Because visibility is super important because this is one of the things you need to actually have with your business in order to get more business opportunities, in order for you to generate more leads. And I want to ask you first, are you showing up or maybe not so much? And if you're not showing up so much, why? What is the reason behind it? Maybe it's because you have a certain type of fear from social media or uh, showing up, or maybe you're feeling a bit of overwhelmed with social media. And I want to give you some tips about how you can actually improve your visibility because this is what's going to really help you to grow your business and actually create more brand awareness and, and build a strong online brand. So the first tip is about consistency. And I do have an episode about this, but here is why it's very important, you know, because if you're not there, if you're not being consistent with the type of content you create, okay, or even with like the appearance, right, you're posting today and next time it will be in a month or like after two weeks, but you're not there. So how can you expect your audience to build a relationship with you if you're not really there? How can you expect them? to have you in top of mind if you're not always there, okay? They will go to those who are actually appearing all the time, that are there, that engaging with them, communicating with them, um, providing with them like informative like content, things that are relevant for them, right? You really need to be there. And if you actually have the time to scroll and search for content or like finding yourself even on TikTok or Instagram and watching like reels and videos for a while, if you have that time to scroll, So you definitely have the time to create. And that is why it's important to ask yourself why you're not creating is because of a different type of a fear and from what, and that's where you need to try to see how you can actually overcome it. And of course, if it's something you struggle with, there's always like social media uh, companies that can help you, you know, with creating the content and things like that. And that's another important thing, you know, to get to know yourself. If you are struggling with one thing, There's always an option to outsource it. But consistency is very important. So as I said, you need to be consistent with the type of content, okay, and with the appearance. Because, again, it's not only from your audience side, it's also from the algorithm side. If you're not there, so how can you expect the algorithm to learn about the behavior of those who come to your page, right? If you're not really there, how can they learn about like what is the best timing, uh, what type of content work you're or not? You really need to put yourself out there. And don't let your fear from also, by the way, getting likes um, to hold you back. Because I know sometimes we thinking like, oh, I'm maybe not going to post. Um, maybe people won't like the design. Maybe I won't get enough engagement. Uh, maybe people won't like give it a like. But you know what? You actually don't need to create content that comes from the thought of like, okay, how many likes I'm going to get? Or maybe how can I make this video to go viral? You just need to make to create content that is relevant to your audience, that supports your business strategy, that's going to help you to build a strong enough brand. Once you're going to do it and you're going to be consistent, you're going to start seeing a flow. You're going to start seeing their reaction coming back. Because again, as much as it takes you time to learn what type of content you're feeling comfortable of writing and creating, it's also going to take the time to your audience to learn about you, about your the behavior and everything they're going to learn about your place and again with the algorithm. So that's the first tip about improving your visibility, which is consistency. Another tip is about collaboration, right? You want to actually, if you can... If you want to actually improve it, you can actually use others in your industry or maybe others that are doing things that complete what you do and start to collaborate with them. It can either be by sharing content, like they posted something so you can share it in your story and tag them. You can maybe go live with them. You can maybe actually create like a TikToks or like other or Reels videos or maybe do a YouTube, maybe record a podcast. And that's the nice thing because by doing that, it's actually you both are benefiting from each other because each and every one of you got his own audience. So by you collaborating with people that are actually relevant, relevant to you and that 
support your business strategy, which I also do have an episode on how to define your business strategy, so I recommend for you to go listen. But once you do that, you both are actually increasing exposure, right? Because that's all about visibility on increasing exposure to the right audience at the right place, which is going to help you to improve your brand awareness and eventually to grow by, you know, converting them at one point from followers to clients. So find the right people to collaborate and enjoy each other audience because it is a win-win situation. The third tip is about using different features um, that a different platform's got to offer for you, but features that can help you to improve engagement, uh, that you can actually share their relevant content to your audience and make them very informative, okay? So it can be, for example, um, creating like different carousels, uh, which you have on Pinterest, which you have as well on like Instagram, for example, and you put there lots of in, like information that is relevant for them, for your audience, but always remember that less is more. So be very straight to the point with the tips that you share, okay? For example, you can do stories, which you have it and on TikTok as well, on Instagram, on Facebook. You can use that as well to ask questions, to engage, to uh, announce things. And those part of the things are going to help you because once you also improve engagement, you're basically showing the algorithm that there's something very interesting here. Okay, so that means that they will want to actually expose it to more people that might find it as relevant. Because if you do something and improve engagement and they think it's interesting and they share it more and they're starting to engage, it means that more people coming to the platform. It means that that social media platform is going to make more money from the advertisement and things like that. Okay, so it's a type of a cycle. So you want to improve your uh, visibility because once you improve your visibility, you're actually improving the exposure that you have for your brand, for your content, and through that you're building a brand and through that eventually by engaging with them and having that cycle, you will be able to convert them at one point from followers to clients as well, um, even when you do it on newsletter and things like this, you want to have that movement, right? So those are the tips that I have to share with you today about improving your visibility. Let me know uh, which one of the tips you actually like and what you're going to do, what you do maybe even, you're more than welcome to share to improve your visibility. And again, every question you have, feel free to reach out and find big consulting on the different social media platforms.